morning it's just after 5 a.m. on um, Saturday uh, 4th of May and I'm here down in Sand Mullins in the annual Mecca of uh, shad fishing so they're in the river again yesterday Craig and Pat had a very good day and the day before David had, had a good catch as well so I got up at 3 a.m. today draw for two hours and I'm here just after uh, 5 a.m. It's still about half an hour before the sunrise, but, uh, but there are guys already fishing, so I'm not the only one as crazy. Um, so let's see if there is any fish around and hopefully to get a couple for the uh, annual shot fishing. That's the first fish on. Took a bit longer than I hoped. Now they do shake their hooks very well. So we'll see if we can get that first one. Added in the net. <laughs> They're fairly delicate fish and they run over here for spawning, so we try to get it back as soon as possible. Fish number two on. We'll see if we can land this one. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, that's a, that's a little brown trout. Very nice. Ah, fuck her. Most of the fish seems to be very close in. Yeah. I had four takes or since, since the morning and they were all within 10 meters. Yeah. Morning. <laughs> From what I remember, usually when they talk, they, they talk proper. Not this. Any more? No. I had one more knock, but but no, no fish. You moving up? Yeah, I'm moving up. Yeah. He has all the skills and cameras and you know the stuff you need to actually get a specimen. <laughs> yeah, sure. Cheers.
<laughs> Meget fisk det her. Ah, fuck you. Ah, and I unhooked it with the head. I look like a specimen though. Mad fish there. That's a bit nicer fish, this one. Lovely. That's a lovely fish. That's what we came in for today. A lovely specimen shot. Beautiful. Let her go. It 
the long drive. I had to take there on the drop now. Nice fish. Very nice. Do you want the photo? Right in front of you at the moment. About half halfway there. I've got two bombs in the same spot exactly. Yeah? Yeah. Right in front of you. About halfway there. nice fish this one and I've left my uh, landing net in the other place oh that's a lovely fish that's a beautiful fish I still have a measuring tape so I'll give it a quick measurement it is 48 beautiful okay just like that beautiful Cut the net. Yeah, well, at least it's on the fish, not on the car. <laughs> And we have a fish on, lovely. That's very nice. Oh, that's a, that's a nice fish. Let's see. 
if we can land this one. <laughs> ah, in the net. This net is really ter terrible, is it? hook is in the net so we need to get the fish down okay. oh. <laughs> oh off she goes again blue and silver with a nice big blue bit and a bit of a weight there Ah, lost it. Huh? Half a point. Fine. I'll take half of a point. It is not beautiful. Sand moorings. That's how I remember it always. <laughs> That's it. Another annual shad fishing session is done and do It was brilliant. It was great as always. I love this place. It's beautiful. It's quiet. Um, calm, green. You can hear the, the, the birds singing and there's plenty of people around they come from all over the country there's a lovely pub down there and you can have some craig you can meet old friends new friends brilliant as always really lo love it fishing wise well it was it was great uh, i've got about nine or ten fish um, th there was plenty more takes but they weren't really committing to uh, lures i think it's after the, the very cold night last night um, but i did get a good few fish um, the all-time favorite, the blue and silver Tasmanian devil with a bit of a green bead and a, and a lead did the trick and uh, a long rod, 9.6 feet um, rod and a very thin braid, 0.06 helped me cast as far as I wanted, I didn't have any problem casting even in a strong crosswind, the lure was going to the far bank and even further I had to stop it before it hit the, the far bank so brilliant great fishing again and um, i hope you enjoyed that if you did give me a thumbs up and uh, and subscribe thanks a lot see you soon